I'm just trying to imagine as we were talking, imagine how the expedition was back in '53. Uh, yeah, the. I mean, they left the Kathmandu Valley and they would have to hike that whole distance. Um, huge army of people, and it was unknown. I mean, the Nepal was a closed-up kingdom, and it was. But it was. Um, we've come a long ways since then. I mean, it was 70 years ago, and. As a society, we're we're much different, and that um, and that was the 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 origins of expedition climbing are very much rooted in imperialism and colonialism. There's no question about that, and there's um, that that part of it. But it was, in a sense, John Hunt, who was the leader of the fifty yeah. three Everest expedition. One, he realized that Tenzing Norgay was the strongest climber in the group. He had more experience. He'd gotten to the South Summit the previous fall with the Swiss expedition, so they knew what was going on. But that combination of of Hillary and Norgay was um, it came at a momentous moment. It was seven years after the end of the Second World War. Yeah. The world wanted something that was aspirational and uplifting, and that it was um, um, uh, people from Nepal and, a, and, a, and, and from New Zealand. That it was, it wasn't just the white guys that stood up there. That it was a partnership, and I think that that origin story for the Sherpa culture, the people that yeah. work in the mountains, and then the greater flywheel of Nepal is really important. And Tenzing Norgay is, is seen as a as a hero to Nepal, and Darjeeling and the, the hill people. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That bond uh, of uh, Sherpa Tending and uh, Sir Edmund Hillary is something that's uh, that's that's definitely a fulfilling moment for the planet, right? तपाईले हाम्रो क्लिप एकदमै एन्जॉय गर्नु भयो होला अब पुरै भिडियो हेर्नको लागि चाहिँ युट्युब मा सब्स्क्राइब गर्न नबिर्सिनु होला This program is brought to you by Via Studios.